Could you please tell us more about the role of civil society organizations in eradicating energy poverty? Civil society organizations span a huge uh, range of different tasks and different uh, forms as well. Uh, maybe I can limit it down for this interview on public-private partnerships. Uh, that are specially constructed uh, forms of organizations, if you want, who bring together the public interest, the government interest and the private interest from both civil society groups who represent specific uh, uh, interests and business interests. So the idea is here to create platforms on which we can discuss and find solutions for, for topics that cannot be sorted by one form of organization only. Uh, I think that uh, these public-private partnerships have been uh, a big success story over the last uh, decade or even the last two decades. And it's interesting that it's something that the United Nations have been promoting over a long time and have been pushing over a long time. And in some ways you could actually see the United Nations as the most successful public-private partnership because the UN really brings together, without a, a massive governmental authority, brings together players from all sides. And that's what we see here in uh, Rio de Janeiro at Rio Plus 20. We see that partners from all different walks of life, NGOs, civil society, businesses and governments are coming together to work on issues of a, of a kind of cross-cutting uh, nature and of very high importance.